What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 40 minute full body boot camp. So grab some dumbbells and let's get started. Welcome to your 40 minute boot camp workout. I'm so excited that you're here today. We're gonna work all the muscles in the body. We're gonna get a little cardio, a little abs, and a little full body strength in. So you're gonna feel fantastic rocking through this workout with me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for doing this for your mental health, your physical health, whatever your situation is right now. I know it's different for everyone and it's different for all of us in terms of our own lives. So let's just make sure we're continuing to do things that benefit us, that keep us sane and keep us sweating. All right, for dumbbells, let's get you set up. I've got 10, 15, 20, and 25 pound dumbbells. If you have dumbbells, you wanna use water bottles, sandbags, detergent bottles, whatever you've got around. We're just gonna move our bodies today and sweat and feel great, okay? As soon as you're done with this workout, make sure you lock it in with a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That helps us get these workouts out to more people because it's what we all need right now. And I just wanna be there for as many people as possible. So thanks for clicking subscribe below the video before you head out today. And let's rock into the warm up, all right? Come on back to the very back of your mat. We're gonna hinge our hips backwards first. So give me a slight bend in your knee, transfer the weight back to your heels. Hands right here, let's go in three, two, one. Here we go, reach the hips back, feel that stretch, 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 and then come straight back forward. Okay, three more of those. Good, reach, 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 reach. Good, one more. Good, come on back up. Walk your hands down to the floor, okay? Walk it out, knee to elbow, and then walk it back in. Okay, so we'll get the arms warmed up, the hamstrings stretched, and when you get out here, knee to elbow, you got a little bit of core action. Okay, think about trying to pull your belly button away from the floor. Good job, last one. When you walk it out, stay out there. Okay, knee to elbow. And we're gonna pike it up. Good, and back into a plank. Three more. Pike up, and plank. Good job, push it up. And plank. And last one, walk back into the pike and walk your hands back. Slowly roll up. We're gonna go single leg butt kick walks. Okay, up and down your mat. And if you're not ready for high impact today, we do have some cardio that we'll be doing like high knees and stuff like that. I'll show you exactly what to do. If you're not ready for an impact or your neighbors below you would not appreciate that, I've got ways to make sure you keep the intensity up without keeping the impact up, okay? All right, bring it right to the front here, nice and slow. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Good. Good, three, two, one. One more, three, two, one, good. Arms over your chest. Get a little upper body cross and open. Here you go, thumbs out when you get to the side, thumbs facing the, or palms facing the floor when you cross. Great job, three, two, one. Let's go knee to elbow right here. Obliques warmed up just a little bit. There you go. Three, two, one. And anywhere else that you need to stretch, you can go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna show you your first two exercises. Because it is a boot camp, we've got a superset style of work today. So two exercises grouped together. Your first one is gonna be floor tap, squat, curl, press. So you're gonna sit down in your squat, tap the floor, Curl, press, okay? And then right back down. Your second exercise will be in a bear crawl position. So when you're done here, 30 seconds here, we're gonna pop down on all fours, all right? Let's start with your floor tap, curl and press. In two, one, here we go. 30 seconds. Good, sit low, curl, press. Good job, tap. And when you're tapping, make sure you're not bending your back over. You're sitting down, curl, press. 10 more seconds. Good work, three, two, one, rest. Move your dumbbells out of the way here. 
come on down to all fours. You've got a bear crawl crunch, okay? So come up off your knees. You're crossing, crossing, cross, cross. Ready? Two, one, pop it up, and let's go. And each time you cross, I want you to pull your ribs up and in. This is all abs. Good, squeeze, squeeze. If you're not feeling it, slow it down. Pull over, lift up just a little. Good, eight. Two, one, rest, good job. And we're back to your floor tap, curl and press. If you can go up, now's your chance. We've got three rounds. I want you to challenge yourself. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. All right, sit it down. Touch, curl, press. Sit. Make sure your butt's going down, not just your chest. Beautiful, six, five, three, two, one, awesome. Move those dumbbells out of your way. And then your bear crawl position again. Make sure you don't get to the point where your knees are up here. Keep them back, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Cross, cross. If you need to modify this, knee cross. Just stay on your knees, cross and crunch, okay? Good job. 10 more really good seconds. Good, two, one, and rest. Last round, here we go. Show me what you got, can you go up again? Can you stay right there and maintain good form? Whatever pushes you to your best, let's go there. Okay, two, one, here we go. Squat, curl, press. Great job, 15. That's it, five, four, two, one. Amazing job. Dumbbells out of the way. Bear crawl crunch. All right, here we go. Whew. Three, two, one. Lift up, go cross, cross. The most important thing here is the squeeze, not the speed. The squeeze. 15. Three, two, one, and rest. Go ahead and grab some water. Great work. First circuit done. So that was a lot of a lot of everything, right? Total body circuit to start it off with. Whew. And that's intentional to make sure we get everything warm. Okay, we're gonna move into shoulders. So we've got a lateral raise and tap under. Okay, so it looks like this. 10 seconds, grab your lightest dumbbells for me. You're gonna go lateral raise. When you bring it down, lift one knee up and tap right underneath. Okay, let's go in two, one, here we go. Lift, bring it, tap. Lift, tap. If you can go right back up, that's gonna make it tougher. If you need to tap, stop, and then go again, that's okay too. Whatever pushes you today, I want you to go there. Good work, seven, six, five, three, two, 
one, rest. Dumbbells out of the way. Here's where we go, low impact or high. High impact, high knees, low impact, knee drivers. You're pulling, boom, 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 okay? Wherever you're at in those two options, let's go there. Two, one, here we go. And whichever option you choose does not dictate the intensity level. You're still going high intensity, okay? Give me all you got here. Just about 10 seconds left. As of right now, 10, nine, four, three, two, one, rest. We're back. Lateral raise, knee drive. Whew. Good work, you're doing great. Grab those dumbbells in four, three, two, right here, let's lift. And this also brings a balance aspect in too, right? Good, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, good. Great job. Here we go, high knees or knee drivers, wherever you're at, you're giving me all you got. High knees, let's go. Four, three, two, one, here we go. Core is tight. Make sure you're not arching your belly out here. And just kind of laying back. You're tight. You're pulling those arms. Knees go with your arms. Good job. 15 seconds. Here we go. Speed. That's it. Seven more seconds. If you're knee driving, go here. 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 Come on. Three, two, one. Rest. One last round. Big deep breath. There we go. All right, lateral and knee drive, touching underneath the leg. Here we go, in three, two, one, let's go. Good job. 15 seconds. Good, five, come on, four, three, two, one. Yeah, <laughs> rest, good job. Knee drivers or high knees, give me speed, give me intensity. And this will be our second circuit done. You're doing great, here we go. Two, one, let's go. Good. Come on, drive, drive, drive. 15 seconds. If you're knee driving, go. I'm with you. If you're high knee and keep going. Good. Eight more seconds. Let's go seven, six, five, three, two, one, and rest. Amazing job. I told you we're gonna get your heart rate up. If you're working hard, it is up. Great job. Whew. Now we're thinking of, in our next circuit, the same kind of connection underneath of your leg, but this one's gonna be a lunge. Just one dumbbell this time. I want you to hold it kind of where you leave some slack here. You're gonna step forward into a lunge, pass it under, Grab it, as soon as you grab it, you're gonna curl. Go back down with the other leg, pass, curl, okay? If you don't feel comfortable with a lunge, you're going for a squat. Coming from the back, pass, curl, pass, curl, okay? Let's go in five seconds, lunge or squat, you're passing and curling up, okay? Two, one, all right, here we go. Take 
your time. Good job, five more seconds. Two, one, rest. Now you're gonna lay it down for leg raises, okay? Leg raises, hands under your tailbone or behind your head if you can. We're going two legs, modification, one leg at a time. Ready? Let's go. Pull the belly button up and in, zip it up to your chest. Good job, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Good job. And we're back to the lunge pass. Great work. Whew. All right, passing that lunge or passing the dumbbell under in your lunge or your squat, whatever works for you right now. Ready? Let's go. Pass it through. Bring it up, curl, pass. And take your time, get in the lunge, good position. Pass it, big push up, then curl. One thing at a time, you break it down if you need to. Good job, five more seconds. Two. One, rest. Great job. All right, leg raises again. Here we go, I'm making you move. We're staying moving here. We're in it together. Two, one, let's go. Belly button in, tailbone down, pull. Make this tougher by not coming all the way up. Stopping about 45 degrees, going back down. 15 seconds. Three, two, one, yes, there we go. One last time. Can you go up any in the dumbbell weight? If you think maybe, try it out, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one, lunge or squat, pass it. Curl. Focus on the leg power here, okay? Big push. Don't lay over top of your quad either, so you're not bending over. Your chest should not be above your quad. It should be above that front hip. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Last round of leg raises. Come on down. I have to put this towel here because I will slide all over the place. <laughs> Three, two, one, last round, let's go. Good job, keep control. 13, 12, 5 seconds, come on, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest, Woo. amazing job, grab some water, stay moving if you would like, we've got an upper body strength move for the first one on this one, okay, grab water real quick, and breathe if you can, <laughs> Okay, all right, still with me? You're doing fantastic. We're entering into the second half of the workout here, so if you've got anything left, second gear, let's turn it up, okay? Here's your move. Row and hammer curl left and right. So upper body, like I said, you're gonna hinge. Row, come up left, right, okay? Hinge row, curl left, curl right. Let's grab the dumbbells that you want to use and we'll go in 10 seconds together. Row and then stand, then curl. Okay, we'll start with the hinge in five. Here we go, three, two, 
one, hinge, pull to your tailbone, stand up, left, right, go again. Good work, come on. Keep it rocking, 10 more seconds. I'm gonna get a little agile here next. Four, three, two, one, rest. Option one, without the impact. You're going crisscross, squat, one, two, three, four. Cross, one, two, three, four. With the impact, crisscross. Okay, cross your feet, sit low, four punches. Ready, let's go, crisscross. See if you can switch the leg that you cross with each time. Good job, 10 more seconds. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, rest. Good, same thing, row, curl, curl. All right, slowing it up on the strength up here. Let's go, four, three, two. Bend the knees a little tight back and go. Beautiful, come on, 15 seconds. Almost there, five seconds, four, three, two, one, rest. Good job, dumbbells out of the way. Crisscross, four punches. All right, here we go, five seconds, four, three, two, one, here we go, cross, punch. Good, one, two, sit, 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 sit. Good, 15 more seconds, here we go. Ten, nine, eight, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. One more time through, row curl and a crisscross punches. Last round, let's go. Two, one, you're strong, come on. Don't lift your shoulders first. Okay, so don't go here and crunch up. Pull back towards that tailbone. No shrug. Six. Five, one more round. Three, two, one, rest. Beautiful. Crisscross, four punches. Come on, big deep breath. Yes, there we go. Feet apart, let's go in two, one. Here we go, criss, cross. One, two, three, four, criss, cross. Good job, come on, keep it quick. You're agile, you're strong, and you're quick. That's it, last 15, go cross, down, punch, 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 punch. Almost there, you got five, four, three, two, one, rest, good job. Give me your breath here. Great job. One minute rest and we're going into our next circuit. Whew. Okay, you're doing great so far. We're moving on to reverse lunge and knee drive. Okay, this is gonna be a light dumbbell where I'll show you the move and you can kind of determine your weight, okay? You're gonna sit down in a reverse lunge. As you do this, optional, 
you're gonna press your dumbbell up so it sits right over your hips. Okay, so you're here. Bring knees to elbow, knee drive. Straight back, knee drive. So this one leg is rocking, driving and sitting all the time, okay? Grab your dumbbell. Let's go in two, one. Here we go, step it back. So you sit and push, and as you come up, drive. It's okay if you lose your balance. I do it all the time. Ideally, try not to, but if it happens, don't worry. Just jump right back in. Keep your front knee out. You're stepping back like you're on a railroad tracks, not a tightrope. Two, one, rest. Good job. You're moving down onto the floor. Rope climbers, okay? Legs are straight up in the air. You've got three pulls per leg. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, ready? Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good, climb, climb, climb. Almost there, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Let's roll it on up. Back to your reverse lunge, press and knee drive. So now you're doing the other leg. Okay, I did my right knee driving last time, so now I'm doing left, okay? Dumbbell here, let's step it back in three, two, one, here we go. Press and step, drive it up right here. You can stop here if you need to, or you can go right back into the lunge. Good, knee presses out in the front. Don't let it roll in. That's it. Two, one, rest. Great job. Rope climbs on your legs. Good work, let's go. Come on down, legs up. Two, one, let's get it. Climb, climb, touch. That's it, in the upper part, when you first get the momentum going here, you're crunching, crunching still. Eight, seven, six, five, two, one, rest. Good job. Whew. Come on up. So give me a heavier dumbbell for this last round. We're gonna go 45 seconds alternating, okay? So let's go a touch heavier. All right, you're gonna go back left, drive left, and then switch. All right, ready? Let's go. 45 seconds right here. Beautiful, up. Sit down, the dumbbell is right over your hips. When you sit, make sure it's directly right over your hips. Good. 15 seconds, come on. Go, go, go. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Beautiful. All right, last round of rope climbs. And by the way, you do not have to actually pull on your legs, okay? Five seconds, we'll go again. You can just touch, touch, crunch as well. Ready? Legs up, let's go. 45 right here. And if this feels good, try to keep your legs straight and stiff right over your hips. Good job, come on. 15 seconds, we got it, we got it. Good, go, 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 four, three, two, one. 
three, two, one, and rest. Whew. 45 seconds rest. Grab some water. Come on up. You're doing fantastic. Stay with me here. All right, so a lot of full body moves, right? And this next one is just mainly gonna be upper body, okay? You're gonna have a little bit of a hinge in there with me. Cross body front raise, front raise to hinge overhead extension, okay? Looks like this. Your hammer grip, so palms are facing your thighs. A little bend here. You're taking one arm, cross, cross, bring it back, extend. Okay, so there is a little hinge and push forward with the hips. Okay, from the front, we go cross, cross, sit, extend. Ready? Let's go in two, one, little bend here. Cross, 45 seconds right here. Hinge, explode. There you go, come through with the hips. Good, kind of like a kettlebell swing without the between the legs swing. Back, extend. There you go. 15 more seconds right here. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Beautiful job. We're going high knee agility here. So if you can hop, let's do this. Ha, ha, on, off. If you cannot, you're low shuffling, okay? Low and quick, or stay right here, okay? Shuffle low and we're moving quick. Ready? We'll go in five. If you can hop, you're on and off. Ready? Let's go. If you're not ready for that impact, you're right here, low shuffle. Okay, whatever works for you, go there. We're in it together. If that looks different, that's okay. We're all different. But we all have the ability to work in common. Let's go. Come on. Last 15. Go, 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 go. 10, nine. Three, two, one, rest. Beautiful. Front raise, front raise, hinge swing. Now I do understand that you're probably gonna have to use the weights that work for the front raise more so than your max hinge swing, and that's okay, okay? Here we go in four, three, two, one. Let's go, cross, cross that second one. Sit, swing up, bring it back down. Good, notice your hips. They're waiting, they're tight in the core. Sit, extend, there we go. Good job, come on. 15 more seconds, I know you've got this. You're strong, use your strength here. Seven, six, one last round. Two, one, good, rest. Whew. All right, we're back to that agility or low slide, whatever works for you, okay? You've got options here. I just want you to work hard and fast for 45. Ready, two, one, let's go. Good, tight core, okay? Perfect. You're moving, you're moving. Don't slow down yet. Good. 15, right here, 14. Go, 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 go. We're almost there, come on. You're not slow, you're fast, you're agile, you're quick. Nine, eight, come on. Three, 
two, one. One last round. We're right there. Give me one last time through. Come on. Raise, raise, hinge, explode. Make sure your explode is not arching here. You come up straight. Ready? Two, one. Let's go. Good work. There we go. Lots of power. Raise, come on. Use those legs. They're there for you when your arms get tired. They're there. Power move, sit, drive. Come on, 10 seconds. Last one, four, three, two, one. Yes, come on back. Quick agility, low slides, on and off, wherever you're at today. We go there, we go together, we go hard. We've got one more quick circuit. We're right here, this close to being done. Two, one, let's rock. You're going until you see 4.30 on the clock over here. Don't slow down until you see 4.29. Good job. Are right, your feet quick? Is your core tight? Let's go, come on. Quicker. That's it. Last 15, go on, off. Quick, 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 quick. Look for 429, don't stop yet. 10, nine. Come on, all the way through 430. Three, two, one, rest. Amazing job. Woo, grab some water. <sighs> True superset fashion here. 30 seconds of work. We've got a high row, okay? We're gonna go hinge high row, and then our second 30 is gonna be a burpee hop. So, go ahead and grab your heavy dumbbells. We're gonna go hinge, High row. All right, let's go there in seven seconds. Four, three, two, one. Little hinge, power it up. Put it back down, reset, hinge and go again. You're right here until you see 320. Good, if you need to modify this, take it here, one arm. Okay, hinge, one arm. Totally fine, 13 seconds. When you get done with the 13 seconds, you're putting your dumbbells down on the floor. We've got burpee hops, okay? Right here in four seconds, you're going back wide, show your hands. Ready, two, one, here we go. Back wide, show. Good, so we're just kind of breaking up the burpee. 30 and 30, we're stopping at 250 to go right back into the hinge high row. 10 seconds. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Grab your dumbbells, come on up. We're back, hinge, high row. No rest, right into it. Good job. 10 more seconds, you're back to the burpee hop. Four, three, two, put your dumbbells down, let's go. Burpee hop, step or jump back, step or jump up, show your hands. Boom, boom, raise them. Come on, this is it. Right here, that's it. 15 seconds, you're just gonna give me one set of 30 seconds of a dumbbell burpee. Okay, so in five seconds, watch closely. You're back, you're up, you stand. Ready, 30 seconds right here, let's go. Burpee, stand, use your leg muscles. Put your heels down, lift. This is it, 30 seconds right here. We're going until you see 1.15 on the clock. 
Yes, I added extra five just for a demo. 15 seconds. Come on, come on. Seven more seconds, let's go. Finish, strong. Two, one, and rest. Come down to your hands and your knees. And set your hips back, 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 back over your calves. You have made it to your cool down. <laughs> Amazing work today. So proud of you for working so hard. Hopefully you can look back at this workout and know that you gave it everything you had. Whatever it looked like, doesn't matter. The effort is what matters. Come on forward, drop your hips down. I do not care that you use a detergent bottle instead of dumbbells. I do not care that you made it low impact instead of high. None of that matters. What matters right now is we move and we move together. Look up, chin up. Tuck your chin down, come back to your knees and put your toes on the floor. Push up into a pike position and drive your heels down to the floor. Let's get the calves. By the way, keep stretching. Walk it back to your toes. Anytime this week you feel like Oh, I'm headed to the snacks again. I'm headed back to my pantry. I'm bored. I don't know what to do, so I'm gonna go snack. I'm gonna get some, roll it up slowly. I'm gonna get some things to drink and eat that I know don't necessarily add up to my goals. Your goals are still your goals, even if you are not going to work right now. Okay, they still matter, and they can still come to life. I promise you, every single day, I work out from home, right here, not a gym and I can still eat the way that I have control of right now. It may not look the same, but it does not mean it's impossible. Okay? You do what you can with the goals that you still have. Don't lose it, don't lose hope. Okay? Hips to the side. Any particular setting does not determine your ability to achieve your goals. Okay, hinge it back and reach down to the floor. Yes, it's easier to nutritionally eat when you can go to the store anytime you want. It doesn't mean it's impossible though. You do what you can with what you have, okay? Focus on nutrient density instead of quality, or instead of quantity, you focus on quality, okay? Pull the right heel to the glute, stretch that quad. Know that I'm gonna be here for you every single day. And if you get bored later, I've got stretches. I've got yoga and Pilates videos that are not soul-crushing, high-impact workouts, but they are workouts that keep you moving, okay? Go ahead and switch. I've got no impact workouts, I've got no equipment workouts, I've got five minute workouts, 10 minute workouts, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever you're looking for, I promise you I've got it. So check out the playlist tab. When you're done here, just browse through and look at what I've got. Even if you're not using anything right now, just so in the future, if you're thinking about something, oh, I'd love to do something that's like 20 minutes, low impact, you'll know what I have at least. Just make yourself familiar with that, okay? Hands on your tailbone, reach those hips forward. If you find yourself sitting a lot, can you set an alarm on your phone for every hour just to get up for five minutes? Let's do that. Let's focus on hip health. Let's focus on spine health. Let's focus on hamstring flexibility and mobility. Okay, let's focus on blood flow <laughs> to your limbs. If you're sitting for so long, your toes start to go numb, right? Get up every hour. If you have an Apple Watch, sometimes it will do the whole stand up, it's your hour. Pay attention to it. Maybe try and stick to it this coming week, okay? I'm just trying to give you options to move. I know things are different. I'm here for you though, and I know it's possible. Every hour, can you get up for five minutes, drink water, and just move? Even if you get up, just do a little dance. Put your favorite song on and just kind of move around. Whatever you've got near you, it's possible, guys. And I just wanna keep that hope instilled in you. I can do this. Don't put the overwhelm in front of you like a block, okay? Like a road barrier. This might be a little detour. It might be the long route to where we're going, but we can still get there. Okay, I promise. So stay moving. Comment below what you're doing to stay moving. Are you walking more outside? Are you not walking outside and you're just putting on your favorite song for five minutes? I don't even know what this is, but who cares? It's movement. It doesn't have to look like anything, but just get up and move. Let your brain get stimulated. Get some blood flow going again and stay optimistic. Stay hopeful. Okay, I'll be here for you anytime you need it. Scroll to the very end of the workout and you'll hear me jabber with all kinds of inspiration and positivity, but that's where you have to keep your mind. So if you need it again, come back to those workouts where I'm preaching to you, pull the positivity out of everything. Anything that seems like daunting, negative, 
oh my gosh, this is harder, oh my gosh, this is worse. No, if you let your mind go there, it will go there and it will stay there and company will join you, right? If you complain, a lot of people are gonna jump in to complain because that's easy. What's hard? Step back and say, I am grateful for what I have right now and it's not easy. I'm not telling you to disregard your fear or your anxiety or your feelings. I'm not saying don't feel what you feel, but don't let yourself sit in the negative, in the complaint, in the positive is where you need to stay, okay? So feel what you need to feel. If you need to get it out, get it out maybe to your bathroom and then move back into the place where you're staying hopeful, you're staying moving, you're staying positive, all right? Because you deserve that here, here, and here. Your whole wellness depends on what you keep in your mind, so let's keep it positive. I love you, I will be here for you every single day without a doubt, so share the channel, make sure you're subscribed, share it with a, with a friend, with your neighborhood. I know it's different, but it's possible, and I love you, and I'll be here for you. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. I do a lot of random stories. Hopefully they'll make you laugh and I'm just trying to keep you in that positive place. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel and keep having a great day. Bye.